On September the 17th, 1871, 29 convicts escaped from the penitentiary in Carson City, Nevada. 23 were soon recaptured, but killed. Five weeks later, six of the fugitives were still at large and at last been seen moving toward the Owens River Valley in California. The posse picked up the convicts' trail and tracked them through the mountains to a point near Monte Diablo Lake. The trails were hidden under icy drifts. Freezing winds blew down from the high peaks, blinding men and horses with stinging snow. On the third day of the storm, and the floundering horses could go no farther. The sheriff and his posse had to turn back. They left the fugitives to die in the mountains, in the cold. Close to death. We ought to bury him. Well, ground's all froze up. Sorry. Just have to bury himself. While the storm raged in the peaks above them, the fugitives headed for the floor of the valley. By sundown, they reached the shelter of the last ridge. eat. We'll eat, all right. Look. Limey, you and Matt, go down and have a look, see what we're walking into. We'll stay here.
You stay here, too. I figured maybe I could find some way to get this leg iron off. I don't feel so good. I don't want any more trouble than we've already got. So that's the place, huh? What place? The place where you got the money hid. What's the matter? You got a bug in your head, Greer? I told you a hundred times, I ain't after any money. Sure, you told me. But it goes down mighty hard. Take a look at the facts. A man gets killed. Right. His money disappears. He couldn't have hid his money after he was murdered, now could he? Next you break jail and head straight for this place. What's a fella supposed to think? You talk too much. You don't talk enough. But you will. just a coyote shooting. How do you know? That was no coyote out there. If it was, Tam would still be after him. Listen. That's just the lake freezing over. That ain't nothing to be scared of, Susan. I am scared. I'm scared all the time. Why don't Luke come back? Why don't he come back? Oh, but he is coming back. They'll all be coming back any day now. Three months they've been coming back any day. I can't stand being alone like this. I never wanted to have no baby without Luke being here. Susan, you've got to stop being a baby now that you've got one of your own. Waiting for somebody's bad, maybe. But it ain't as bad as having nobody to wait for. 
This breath. Marsha! Harriet! Last the lot of them. She's wanting her coffee. You better come and have some with us. It'll make you feel better. The trouble with you is you just ain't calloused up to being married. A man will always be traipsing off for one reason or another. Maybe for silver, it'll be something else. Now, my first husband, he wanted to stay young. He went looking for the fountain of youth. He was killed by buffaloes. He got what he wanted, though. He never did grow old. Ain't we going along, Ma? What for? You ain't scared, are you? Well, that's foolishness. Well, come on, then. See what it is, Marsha. Hold them in, Barbara. Come on. Come on. Some men coming. Men? Our men? No. I... They're strangers. You go back there and sit by Granny. I just want to see him. You do like I say, do you hear? You got no call to be scared. They're men, not wild bear. Just ask them to account for themselves. Marsha. Come take this rifle. Just in case they turn out to be wild bear after all. I told you, didn't I? Nothing but women, all over the place. Good evening, ladies. Could I ask where we are? Lake Monte Diablo. Kind of far away from things, ain't you? We don't get many visitors, especially in the winter. Who are you? Yes, we do look kind of rough, but... We're peaceable enough. Nobody ain't said you ain't peaceable. We're just waiting to hear who you are. We're prospectors. We just got caught in a blizzard, barely made it down here. We'd be much obliged if we could continue talking inside. Prospecting in the mountains this time of year? Well, he'll do funny things when he hears about a gold strike. Gold? Around here? Well, it's like the fella said, ma'am. Gold is where you find it. Where are your horses? They're up in the drifts with the rest of our gear. All we're asking is a place to sleep and a little something to eat. It's just a little uh, Christian charity, ladies. That's all. I don't like the look of them. They've got to take us in. I'm going to die for sure if they don't. He's only 18, ma'am. He's real sick. You. Come closer. Here in the light. He's too sick to answer questions, ma'am. He'll have to answer this one. What's that on your leg? Now, ma'am. This gun is loaded, and I can use it. Show us your ankles. All of you. I said, show them. The other leg. What are you doing, Marsha? What is it? That's an Oregon boot. Prison shackle. Yes, we're convicts. All of us. We're running away. But we're still asking for food and shelter. Because if we don't get them, we're going to die. Well, our men are away. You can't stay here. You better start moving. Oh, now, now, ladies, you, you wouldn't be so heartless, would you? I'm telling you again, I can use this gun. You're taking a lot on yourself, aren't you, ma'am? Judge, jury, hangman, all wrapped up in pretty skirts. Having yourself a ladies' lynching party? You better move on. I can't go no further. I've got to find some place to lay down. <laughs> well, you may as well start shooting. Because one thing is sure, he ain't moving. Besides, lying real still like that is going to be kind of hard to miss. Go on and shoot. Don't try it. Stand back, you respectful light. Well... Pick him up. 
Susan, load up the basket with meat and bread and some whiskey. Enough for a good swallow for each of them. Now then, which one of you was talking so high and mighty about lynching parties? I was. All right. You seem to know what decency is, even though you may not have any yourself. So I'll talk to you. You and your friends can stay. Give you some food and a place to sleep. The storm's over. Then you've got to be on your way. Food and a place to sleep is all we want. But while you're here, you've got to keep to yourselves, you understand? But if you don't, you'll blast your heads off. It's a fair enough bargain, man. We got guns to back up our bargain. And I guess you ain't. But you let us know by now. Give it to them. You behave yourselves. We may feed you again tomorrow. See that cabin down by the lake? You're giving them Rudy's cabin? What other one is there? But that's... that's for when they get married. We'll scrub it out good after they go. You bunk down there on the floor. Don't mess it up more than you have to. You, uh... You fixing to get married real soon, ma'am? What's that to you? Nothing. Nothing at all. Back inside. Millie, you and Mary will get the children. Take them over to Harriet's. You're going to stay there with her and Barbara. Susan, get the baby. Bring it here. You and Rachel are going to stay here with Marsha and me. Wait a minute. Granny, you got to rest. Things to be settled first. Got to pair the guns out of all the cabins. Bring them here. Got to hide them so those convicts can't get at them. I ain't giving up my gun. I got Barbara to look after. I got all of you to look after, so you do what I say. Come on, baby. You want me to fix you something? No, thank you. What's the matter? How did you know about those leg irons? She's got eyes to see, hasn't she? Thought to bless your star, she doesn't know about it. Take this rifle. Go over to the window. I'm going to keep a watch on the cabin, and you're starting it. Marsha, go and help Susan and the baby. She'll have a parcel of things to carry. Go on now. Moses in the mountain. Hope we don't have to shoot none of them. I'm too old and tired to start burying. Why don't you leave the girl be? What kind of a devil is in you to make you take after her all the time like that? I don't call asking a question taken after her. She's marrying my brother. Better than he deserves, if you ask me. We don't know nothing about her. Where she's from, who she is. We know what she is. Don't take me more than 10 months to know what kind of a girl I got living in the house with me. She's trying to make a place for herself, Rachel. Trying to make a life. She's got no folks. She's got nobody what's here in Lake Diablo. You can't take to her. Just remember it's Rudy that's marrying her. Not you. Rudy's my brother, and if I can't ask a simple question. That wasn't a simple question. Go on back and watch the cabin. You see what they're doing? No. Just that they lit a lamp and built a fire. Making themselves at home. Thank you. 
you got for amusing yourself. Oh, take it easy, Mr. Canfield. We were just trying to get your attention. We feel like talking. We'll talk to each other. I got nothing to say to you. You seem to have the idea, so I'll give it to you. Real simple. This blizzard ain't gonna last forever. The boys and me are counting on the women for guns and horses, and we're counting on you for a stake. Why don't you get it through your head, Greer? There is no money. Sure, sure, I know. Where you got it here? You know, I've seen hound dogs get on a trail that led nowhere, stick on it till they dropped. I didn't think a man could be that dumb. Now, I'll give it to you real simple. I didn't steal any money and I didn't murder anybody. I... I came here to kill the man that said I did. Now, why don't you get some horses and get out of here while you can, huh? I never did see such a stubborn man. Did you, Matt? No. Oh. Limey? I, 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 Matt, you think you could persuade this fella to tell us where the money's at? I'm ready to start any time he is. Thomas, listen, I, I'm sick. What's the matter, kid? Work him over to the start with. Hold on a minute, Matt. I don't like him doing canfield. <laughs> Dogs, Hold it, Matt. After all, he ain't told us where the money is yet. Come on, boys, we'll pay our respect to the ladies. We'll be wondering what happened to us. You were told to keep to yourself. We could have taken those guns away from him last night. We could have got our eyes shot out, too. Jim. Jim, I'm burning up. Am I going to die like Pony Sam? Am I? No, kid. No, you're not going to die. Where do you think you're going? He's no animal. We got to get help for him. Wait a minute. I ain't ready for you to die yet. How can you be sure they ain't going to shoot your head off? I ain't sure. Don't come any closer or I'll start aiming. No, you won't, ma'am. You're at kind of a disadvantage. That's what I mean. You see, no decent human being can shoot a man in cold blood. Start any trouble and you'll find out different. One of our men is burning up with fever. We've got to have help. Marsha, bring that gallows bird in here to me. All right. You can come on in. Mary, keep an eye on him. The rest of you, stay where you are. Good morning. Good morning, ma'am. Well, you're sick, eh? Yes, ma'am. If you ask me, you ought to be glad for a chance to die in bed. Yeah, well, maybe you ought to, but he ain't. Just like the rest of us. Yesterday, all he wanted was a place to lay down. Now he's laying down, he wants to get better and go on living. That beats everything, don't it? You assassin me, young man? No, ma'am. I'm just telling you how he feels about it. Now, the boy needs help. A little medicine, some bleeding, maybe. 
You won't be bothered, ma'am, if you come over to help take care of them. I give you my word. Your word? You go back to the rest of them. We'll think it over. Well, think it over fast, will you, ma'am? I'm not sure how long he can wait. Maybe you ought to have a look at him, Rachel. You'd know what to do. I ain't gone over there. Might be better if we went. She's right. Treat them decent. Shame some of the devil out of them. They'll give less trouble. Be rid of them faster. I don't trust him. Not him, not any of them. Nobody's asking you to trust him. Mary? Yeah? You're going too. You're riding shotgun. Good morning, ladies. Don't bother to bow. We don't aim to curtsy. Get back in. Come on. That rifle ain't necessary, ma'am. As long as I got it, it ain't. You three, get over there where I can keep an eye on you. Come on, Clive, let's go. Come on, kid. You put them in there? That's right, ma'am. You got no right dirtying up that bed. There ain't no other, ma'am. You could bed him down on the floor like we asked you to. Yes, I guess we could. Rachel, please. It don't matter. Let's just do what we can and get away from here. He was told to stay with the others. That's right. No use bleeding him. He's too weak. He's nothing to do but try and break his fever with a sweat. I'll make some sassafras tea. Till I give him the soup, it's still hot. Might as well. You could take his shoes off. Come on now. Try and eat this. It'll make you feel better. <laughs> Sorry about your bed, ma'am. This is your bed, isn't it? He ought to be covered up warm. There's a blanket in that cupboard. This cabin's almost ready to move into, ain't it? That's right. Well, I guess you'll be getting married soon. That's right. Real soon? You were asking me about that last night. You got some special interest in weddings? No, ma'am. No, I'm just talking, that's all. There are other things for just talking. Other things maybe ain't as interesting. Spell a Rudy you're marrying. How do you know his name? Somebody mentioned it last night. He gone for the preacher? Why don't you stop beating around the bush? If you want to know where the men are and when they're coming back, why don't you just come out and say so? When are they coming back? It's liable to be a lot sooner than you'd like. You never know what a man will like. See, the tea's ready. Keep pouring that into him. And keep him covered up good. I just want to thank you, ma'am. Tell you what a pleasure it's been, having a pretty lady going around the house doing some chores. It's been a real pleasure. Just looking at you. I don't want you looking at me. That's what the Lord gave me eyes for. Looking. 
Don't you put me in with your blaspheming? A long time since I had a woman to slap my face. I guess I can't shoot a man for, for just talking. Let's get out of here. Come on, Marsha. We're going. Why'd you come here? We got lost, ma'am. How come you remembered Rudy's name? I told you, I heard somebody mention it. You wouldn't remember just hearing it once. Not unless you had a reason. Do you know Rudy Schaefer? Your friends are waiting for you, ma'am. Do you? Come on, Marsha, we're leaving. watching that cabin. I was. Only I... You see? How do we know one of them didn't sneak out while we've been standing here talking? I never seen such a bunch of nervous Nellies in all of my life. And you're the worst of them all, Rachel. If you wasn't so all-fired fidgety... Don't you dare talk to me like that. I'll talk to you any way I please. And I want to tell you something I else. I got more Rachel. important things to do than stand here and talk to you all night. Nobody fed the stock today. You want someone to come along with you, Rachel? Oh, thanks. Who is it? Get that where you belong. 
There'll be a pool, ma'am. Everything you have is burning up in there. Fun! There's horses in there. Come on. Beer, get the cow. Anderson, get the sheep. Come on, Lenny, you get the other horse. Better get her warm, though. She fell through the ice. Let's see if we can't find you some dry clothes. No, thanks, ma'am. I can get dry down the cabin. I guess we're all pretty near frozen. I got a big kettle of stew on the fire. I... You're welcome to come in and sit down. Well, ain't this better than rushing them? Maybe getting their head shot off? Sure, Doc, sure. Clear? You get ugly with them women, I'll kill you. More than likely, Canfield, we're gonna kill you. Uh, uh, gents, please. You mustn't be late for tea. Helping? No, thank you, ma'am. You've been more than generous already. More coffee? No, thanks. Well, very nice food, ma'am. Very nice, thanks. Come in. Well, Limey, why don't you play the ladies a tune to show our appreciation? Yes, yeah, glad to. Oh, uh, with your permission, ladies. I can do for you, ma'am? Yes. You can take your friends and go away from here. I'd sure like to oblige you, ma'am, but they ain't my friends. bloke and some money hurry up with that razor I mean we got things to do no no you mustn't uh, rush me Johnny I want to look my best when I go visiting the ladies come on come on my hands are itching to get hold of a gun 
Now, you own your horses. We'll get them. Easy as silk. We'll get them, all right. We'll have to tear the place apart. Hey, you're a smart one. You start getting rough, and we'll be sitting on the wrong end of a shooting range again. Where's he going? Get a gun. If he can find one. You can't let him get a gun. Matt. Let him go. If we use our heads, we'll all get guns. And there are four of us and only one of him. Well, Amy, look in on that nice lady what lent us this razor. And Matt, you look in any place where there ain't anybody. I want to keep everything nice and gentle. As long as we can. How about me, Johnny? Where do I go? No way. Sit down. Why? Because you'll... You'll stir up trouble. Because you're crazy, Clyde, that's why. I'm not crazy. You know, I always wondered if a crazy man knew when he was crazy. You remember the things you do? It's like everybody else? Sure I do. Most of the time. Remember waiting to be hanged? Yes. Remember what for? Yes. Then you, you knew what you were doing when you did it? No. Not till later. When they told me. Why don't you just leave women alone if you had? You have to kill them. It ain't only women. It's anybody who fights me. I, I don't know what to do when they fight me. But I'm not like that anymore. I, I'm different now. Sure, I know. I know you're a kid. I just want to be sure that you stay out of trouble. Go on, sit down. You've been well. Back there where you was. Go on. I suppose you come nosing over here after this. I only come over to ask you after your health, ma'am. The darn sight's better than it's good for any of you people. You're wasting your time looking for a gun. They're at the bottom of the lake. And you can tell that to the rest of them. I'll do that, ma'am. Nobody said for you to go. Is that the one that was asking about Rudy? It's him. Come over here, son. Sit down. What's your name? Canfield. Canfield what? James Canfield. What's yours? Hmm. Where you come from? Indiana. What you used to do back there? Oh, I had a farm, raised some wheat. Not good enough, eh? Had come out here hunting your fortune. That's right. I suppose you killed someone. I hear they make quite a fuss about that nowadays. So I hear. The posse come across that pass as soon as this blizzard clears. So will Rudy Schaefer. You sure want to see Rudy bad. I don't remember nobody ever wanting to see Rudy that bad. What do you want of him? You have no objection, ma'am. I'll go now. Oh, devil! You don't! You fuckers! Oh, Indiana scum! Oh. Let me go. Haven't forgotten how a woman felt to hold? Let me go, please. I didn't know there was this much left inside of me for him to hang. in the mountain. That's no gallows bird, Marsha. Where are you going? Wait a minute. Wait. What do you want with Rudy? I've got to know. 
Go away, miss. Tell me, please. I've got to kill him. Why? Why? Because he lied. He sat in the witness chair and said he saw me murder a man. He sat there and lied. And he fixed it for me to hang. But why would he do that? I don't know. Money, maybe? I don't know. Not Rudy. I don't believe it. Well, that's up to you, ma'am. I can't help how you believe. It can't be true. It can't be. Did Rudy ever mention my name to you? No. Read this. And then ask yourself, how come he never told you about it? I just hope you're not too much in love with Rudy Schaefer. That don't prove nothing. I know it don't, honey. Honey, Rudy's in trouble, and we gotta try and help him. Rachel, has he ever, has he ever said anything to you about money? You talking about this money here, this $40,000? Did he, Rachel? You don't care nothing for Rudy. You couldn't care nothing for him and think he'd do a thing like that. I ain't saying he did it. I'm only saying we got no right to be sure he didn't. Not if it means he might be killed. If there was money here, maybe if we gave it to Canfield, maybe he'd go away. Where are Rudy's things? You ain't looking for no stolen money in this house. I ain't going to be a party to suspecting my own brother. Would you rather see him killed, would you? You get out of here. All right, Rachel. If you won't do nothing to help him. I will. Hi, you, Marcia. Where are you going? Marcia! <laughs> I didn't know anybody was back here. I, uh, I've been watching you. Where's she going? I don't know. Why were you watching me? I just like watching you. Because you're pretty. I was getting kindling for my mom. I'll help you. <laughs> if she knew I was talking to one of you. Barbara! That's my mom. I got to go. Can't you stay and talk a little while longer? Oh, no. Ma's awful strict. She'll start looking for me. Well, can I see you later? Not if Ma knows. She don't have to know. We could go someplace. Barbara! Can you hear me? All right, Ma. I'll be coming out again tomorrow morning for Kidman. Real early. <laughs> Where you been? I told you to stay put. I don't want you making no trouble around here. I, well, I ain't making no trouble. I, I seen something. That girl, that Marsha, she was riding to the pass. Are you sure about that? I seen it just now, Johnny, just now. She must be off her head. Where could she be going, eh? Where do you think she could be going? After the posse. Nat, you get a horse and go after it. It'd be a pleasure to settle with that one. Sit down, Anderson. I'll bring the girl back. I said Matt. I came here to kill one man. Now, I don't mind killing a couple of others if I have to. 
That's a fine looking gun. I really suppose he got it. Maybe I ain't a good man, according to most folks. But I ain't mean like you think. I just have had bad luck, that's all. I haven't had a girl to settle me down. A girl like you, maybe. Okay. Let me go. You know, I can still feel your hand across my face. You wouldn't think a thing like that could make a fella feel good all over now, would you? Get away. You get away from me. You're nice, you know that. Your room. You're not going anywhere. Let me go. Let me go! Where? To die out there on that mountain? What for? To save Rudy Schaefer? Get back in there. You're free. You can get away. Why don't you go? Why don't you leave us alone? I ain't leaving Rudy Schaefer alone. Not until he's dead. Like he should be. Should be? Whoever gave you the right to sit in judgment? You're a murderer. You killed a man. Well, didn't you? Yeah. I killed Morgan. I came in asking for the money he'd swindled me out of. He pulled a gun, went off when I was wrestling with him. You call that killing? Sure, I killed a man. Rudy saw it happen, but that ain't the way he told it. I don't believe that's true about Rudy. But suppose it was. Suppose he did lie. What good would it do to kill him? How can you beg for him? What kind of a woman are you to be in love with a man like that? Maybe I know a different Rudy Schaefer. A man who was decent to me when I need someone to be decent. A man who gave me a roof over my head when I had no... no people and no place to go. Is that why you're marrying him? No. I think it is. You don't love him, do you? Do you? I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know what love is. All I'm looking for is kindness, peace of mind. But I guess I'm not going to find even that. Thanks to you. And I'm going to do what I have to do. I've thought about this a long time. I know I'm right. My father was right, too. And my brother. They went out to get revenge. But after they were dead, it didn't make much difference who was right. Not to my mother or to me. It didn't make much difference when I was kicking around in gambling halls and saloons. It didn't make much difference who was right then. Be going back in the morning. You better try to get some rest. Come on back to the fire.
It's not only his life I'm begging for. I'm begging for your life, too. And for my own. It's too late, Marshal. I've waited too long. You'll take me with you, Johnny, won't you? Won't you, Johnny? Won't you? I told you I would, didn't I, only? Johnny, Johnny, Johnny. <laughs> only where are the guns? I can't tell you that. Don't ask me, please. You gotta tell me. We dropped him in the lake. They're under the ice. You're lying don't, to me. Don't! You want to be stuck here for the rest of your life, dry and not belonging to nobody. I can't. I can't. All right, then. Stay here. Stay here and rot. That's what you want. Johnny! Wait, wait. They're... They're in Granny's cabin. Under her bed. Where are you going, Johnny? You're not mad at me, are you? You're... You're still taking me with you. Sure. I can help you, Johnny. I got $200 saved up. $200? You hold on to your savings. There's real money. $40,000. It's a stake I've been waiting for all my life. Get up. I can't. I'm a poor old woman lying on a bed of pain reading my Bible. You bloodthirsty weasel. All right, boys. Get her up. Come on, old lady. Oh, I'm to get the floor of hell for this. Yeah, yeah, we have a rat seat in your liver house. Look at that. Taking a poor old cripple the last hours of her life. By the next, I split you lengthwise. All right, boys. Let's go. Oh. Yeah. Sorry, ma'am. Lost your place. No, I... Now you'll be stricken with the plagues of the pharaohs and the curses of Leviticus and Deuteronomy, you... Here. Wait a minute. Take a look at this, gents. Clearing up, Johnny. We better start thinking of moving in the morning. We're waiting for Canvey. Sure, he's coming back? I'm sure. $40,000, sure. Boy, it sure feels good to get in out of that cold, hey, Rudy? I feel like Mom clear up to my holster. <laughs> Just wait at the bar, boys. Go we got no business staying here overnight. We ought to be getting home. Doggone it, Luke. You've been pushing us three days through this blizzard. Now let up, will you? Well, it's all right for you, but I got Susan and a new baby. Now quit worrying about Susan. The women will take care of her. Sure. 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 Hello, boys. Good evening. How are you, ma'am? Same as you, thirsty. It just happens I'm by. Come along, ma'am. Sure was a good idea stopping over here. Rudy Schaefer's my name. What's yours? Hess. You fellas been up on the Silver Strike? That's right. Any luck? Some luck. Mostly hard digging. 
Set him up, bartender, and keep him coming. Yes, sir. What'll it be? What's the matter with you? I said, what'll it be? How long has this been up? Just a few weeks. Big break out of Carson City Jail. They come by here? I heard they went over Monte Diablo, a hard way. Over Diablo? Yeah. When? A week ago. Sheriff turned around and come back. He figures they'll freeze to death up in them hills. The sheriff's right, more than likely. Yeah, but what if he ain't right? What if they don't freeze? I don't know about the rest of you, but I'm moving on. Right now. Take it easy, Luke. We're all going. Come on, boys. Coming, Rudy? Barbara! Barbara? Mary, have you seen Barbara? I can't find her anywhere. No, I ain't seen her. I can't understand why she don't answer me. For how long she been gone? I don't know how long it is. You don't think those men... Now you stop that, Harriet. Barbara! Mary, what's the matter? Oh, Harriet's lost Barbara again. Where's Barbara? Have you seen her? Your daughter? No, ma'am, we ain't seen her. Where's Maxwell? He would lie me, at least he's supposed to be. Barbara? Ain't Maxwell been with you? Well, I, I thought he came back here. I told you to keep him with you. Ain't that Barbara? Yeah. You're right on ahead. <laughs> hey, look. Firestones, they call them. Some fellas say the, the Indians can start fires with them. Well, I, I never seen it. I've got to be going now. Ma's going to weigh on me good. Oh, don't go yet, please. Ma don't like me to be away too long. But it's so nice out today, ain't it? Well, yes. I guess so. Sure it is. Come on. You want me to do that? You ever kissed a fella before? You ain't. You can tell by the way you look. You ain't ever, have you? I got to be going. My mom will be... Forget about her. I can see her later. Leave me alone! No! No! Don't bite me, please! Oh, wait, go away! Leave me alone! Here you go. I told you not to. I told you. Hide! Give me that knife. Look, I don't want you to get into trouble, Clyde. I'm your friend. How come you got a gun on me if you're my friend? All right. Now. Come on, Clyde. Give me that knife. Right, come on now. Give me that knife. Run, Dell, run!
Canfield knows where the money is. If they don't get it, they're going to kill him. You've got to let me look for it. You've got to. I've looked. In here. Give it to them. Get them away from here. That's all of it. Count it, why don't you? Jim. Jim. Blimey. Look at that. Yeah. I guess it's all here. Let's get going. Right. What about the split-up? Oh, sure, Matt. We'll split it three ways, even. When? When we get away from here. I want my cut now. Ah, oh, it's time enough for that. We've got to start moving now. Wait a minute. What's the matter? Don't you trust me? I don't trust nobody. Of course we trust you. Johnny, come on. Johnny, come on, Matt. I'll be keeping my eye on you, Johnny. Sure, Matt. You do that. Now, wouldn't you think someone would come out and wave us goodbye? Drop your guns and you won't get hurt. Look out. <laughs>
Don't reach for your gun. And don't turn around. Canfield? I was finally caught up with you, Rudy. Don't, Canfield. Don't shoot me. You can have the money. All of it. You can't shoot me in cold blood. You can get away. There's still time. Before they come back. No. We'll wait for them. Right here. I'll give you a chance to live, Rudy. I'll give us both a chance. When they come back, you're going to tell them the truth. You're going to tell them what you know. If you don't, I'll kill you. I'll be a killer, like you said. Do it your way, Marcia, but it didn't work. Now you can tell him I'm here. And I'm through shooting. Is it a posse? That's what it looks like. I guess I'll be going back now. Oh, no, Jim. I've got to, Marsha. I ain't giving you up, Jim. Not that easy, I ain't. You gotta decide now. There ain't much time. Do you mean to turn him in or not? No, we, we gotta turn him in, and I don't see that we can do any different. Even knowing he's innocent? That Rudy took the money? We're no court of law, Marsha. He's got to go back to Carson City. He'll hang him. You can't say that, Marsha. He'll get a fair trial. How? Can he prove anything? Has he got anyone to stand up and talk for him? We'll talk for him. From here? 200 miles away? You all leaving your farms and waiting in Carson City for the trial? If he ever gets as far as a trial. And even if you did go, who would believe you? It's no use, Marcia. This belongs in front of a judge and a jury. You're the ones got to be the judge and the jury. Because you're the only ones that know the truth. If he ever gets a fair trial, he'll be right here and right now. In front of you. He's a man with good in him. And I'm asking you to give him a chance. Out of your own goodness. He killed my brother. He shot in self-defense. I saw it. He killed him. He came here to kill him. No matter what you say, it was deliberate. Posse will be here in a minute. We ain't finished the burying. But, Granny... We'll finish the burying. They were evil men. And they touched us all with their evil. But maybe we ain't the ones to do the judging. We ain't without sin. None of us. So I say, may the Lord have mercy on us as well as on them. And deliver us from evil and hatred. Amen. 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 Good afternoon, folks. Good afternoon, ma'am. Sorry to interrupt you, Barian. You ain't interrupting. We just finished. I see. I'm Sheriff Cromwell. We're looking for five escaped convicts. Well, there's five graves. There's a body in each of them. Well, I guess that accounts for all of them, boys. You see, there was six. We found one of them froze to death up in the snow. Did they give you a bad time? Pretty bad. Anybody care to make a statement? Just for the record. Statement? I don't know. Tom? No, I got nothing to say. Mary? No, I guess not. Steve? No, nothing. Rachel? No. 
Looks like we ain't got no statement but them five graves. Well, I guess that's all the statement we need. Goodbye, folks. This was a true story. Today, if you look on your map of California, you'll find that Monte Diablo Lake is now called with the sinister, pathetic name this story gave it, Convict Lake. As for Martian and Jim Canfield, we don't know exactly how their story ended. Some people said they crossed over into Utah territory, settled down, raised a family. But as we say, there's no record to go by, and we don't know for sure. We can only imagine. Thank you.